everyone. Um, I'm here to bring you another video. It's just a mini nail haul. Um, I got nail polish for Christmas for my mother, which I showed you guys. I'm going to re-show you real quick. Um, and these are just all the swatches for them as well. Um, and I got a bunch of new ones. Um, I wasn't supposed to be getting any more nail polish, but two of them I really wanted from a new collection that came out. And one of them I got before those um, because I couldn't find any silver and I wanted it for New Year's, but I ended up not using it, which is kind of a waste. One was a dollar, so I was like, steal. And one I got off of Birchbox because um, I had 10 points, which is $10 on Birchbox. And it was eight, so with shipping, I think I ended up, pay ended up paying like two or three dollars for an eight dollar nail polish, which with shipping, which isn't bad. Um, so I'm just gonna talk about what I used that isn't new, um, to let you know what the background colors are, um, and then I will um, go through all my new nail polish colors. Um, so to start, I'm using my Orly Bonder, like I always use. Um, my, for the base coat, and the top coat is Essie No Chips Ahead um, top coat. For the background colors, because some of these are really sheer and like shimmery colors, um, I wanted a background so you can see what it looks like normal and then see it with the background. And another one of them, you actually have to use it with the background. So, um, one background that I used was Brisk Blue by Sally Hansen's Instant Dry. Insta -Dry. It's 430 Brisk Blue. This is one I had in my collection. And then I also had this one. This is Essie's black one in licorice. So it's just a black color in licorice. And I just use them as background. So the first thing I used, what um, I'm going to ta talk to you about, is this Fractured Foil Number no. 3 Crackle Nail Polish by Sally Hansen. And it's a very um, shimmery silver... Um, nail polish that does this whole crackle effect, um, whether it turns out that good every time or not, um, is a bit debatable, but, um, I wanted to try this for New Year's, but then I, after I found the nail polish that I wanted, but I got this instead first, and you get, um, see I used the black and blue here, the, uh, the Essie and the Sally Hansen, the background colors, here, um, this is that crackle with a thick coating, um, on it, and it did that, like, really wide crack there, and up here it stayed together a lot, and then this is just with a thinner coat, with the black, um, it's a lot more spread out and crackled all the way through it, I hope that can pick it up, the light's kind of shimmery, so yeah, so that was the crackle, um, overall I think it's really nice, it does its job, and it's still, like, stays shimmery, you don't lose a lot of the glitter, um, I've had that happen with um, box uh, bottles sometimes. It looks really shimmery, but when you put it on, it's so sheer, you don't get a lot of sparkle. Um, so that's the uh, Silver Crackle, which I do like. Um, next is the dollar one. Um, this was at Walmart. It was for Christmas time. Um, this has like a green hint to it, the heart, so I thought that maybe for Christmas time it, this had a green hint to it, um, but it ended up not being a green, green hinted color. Um, I keep on looking on this, but I don't see a color. This was just a dollar in their clearance section for Christmas. I guess it was just like a stocking stuffer. But there is no um, color name for this. And it's just like a really pretty shimmery black color. Um, I was a little disappointed. It looks a little bit more shimmery in the tube. But I mean, for a dollar, I wasn't that disappointed. Um, I mean, it's good for a dollar. But as far as getting your sparkle payoff, it wasn't the greatest. Um... And again, I used the black background. And you can see it's just like a very dim, few speckle. It, it's not really bad, but if I want to put black or like a color on my nail with sparkle on top, I really want the sparkle to shine a lot more. Um, but this still isn't that bad. It'll make your nails look a little bit more black, maybe just kind of shiny black. Um, but if you like just a little sparkle, um, you can do this over any color. and It'll just give you, I mean... Not over any color, I'm sorry. This does not have the black background. Let me scratch and redo that. Um, it is black. The background of this is black, so you can't really wear it over too many things. Yeah, it's, this is pretty much how it's going to come out. Um, if the sparkle was over other colors, maybe I'd like it better. Um, but with the color combination, it just doesn't work for me. I totally messed that up. I'm so, like, ugh, from school, just, like, all over the place. Okay, so um, I used the blue background color I showed you because I had a Sally Hansen product, so I wanted to 
to pair it with a Sally Hansen product. Um, the next one are both Essie. That's why I used black licorice from Essie. I do prefer Wet n Wild's um, black color they have. It's like the dollar one. Um, it's a lot more um, opaque, so you don't have to put a lot on um, compared to the Essie licorice. But for this, I wanted to stick with Essie products because it's on my Essie wheel. Um, and it's from their new Lux, Lux Effect uh, line. And I did want the pink one too, but I didn't think I'd actually wear it that often. Um, so, but I got this one. This is the uh, Pure Pearl Fraction. Pearl Fraction. Okay. And then this one is um, Set in Stone. So these are the two um, that I got. And um, I did them without a background and then with the black background. Um, without, it gives you this really nice, uh, sn almost like snow, like the, when snow's all glittery. But um, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it has a little bit of a gold, not gold, um, what color am I thinking of? Blue. Um, blue reflex in it. Um, or flex in it, not reflex. God, I'm tired. Start over. It has a little bit of blue flex in it. There we go. Um, but it's still really, really pretty and shiny. I really like this color. And then this is just a nice sh uh, shiny silver color. with um, It's clear. Um, it's uh, a clear liquid with the, the uh, sparkles in it. So you do need a background for this. I mean, you can just wear it by itself on a nail. But I think it would look best with that. Um, it's whatever you want to do. But then I put them both on a background. I don't think that this one did the black much justice. It kind of gives it a cloudy look, but you can definitely see the blue there. Um, I think this might look pretty, this color might look pretty on like a pink like this or something, um, since it is so pretty, or a blue especially, because it has the blue flex in it. Um, maybe black wasn't the best, but it's still really, really a pretty glitter. And then this is a good party time. Um, it would have been good for New Year's or just going out to the club. I'm um, just like the black with the silver on it. So um, I really did like these as well. Um, really like those colors. Now the three that I got for Christmas. Um, this one I already actually had. Um, but I'm kind of not upset that I got a double of it. Because I actually um, really like the color. So I kind of, if I don't open this, I kind of have a backup for a really long time. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, the double that I got from my mom for Christmas was the Zoya Nail Polish in Shea. Oh, that's upside down. Let's try to do it this way. And that's this color right here. This is the whole touch collection, these three colors. And this one is um, Shea. So it's a really nice nude neutral color, um, which it's always good to have. Um, the next one that I got that's new is... Uh, these are all Zoya nail polishes, by the way. The last bit of them. But this is Dove. Um, in Birchbox, I told you guys about the little sample size I got of, uh, it was about this size, of Caitlyn. The color Caitlyn, which is a darker purple color. And it, it was was in the same collection as this this one. And um, I wanted this one, but didn't have the money to get it at the time. Um, but I got it for Christmas, so I was actually really excited. And it's just a really light uh, gray color. It's really pretty, really simple, and I really like it. And it's a very cool undertoned one. Um, next is Suki. I'm guessing this is from um, Vampire Diaries. Or no, is that what it is? The Vampire Diaries? I don't know. I don't really watch it. Um, but it's in Suki, and it is... I think that that's girl name. I don't really watch the show. But it's this bright red color. And Suki sounded like the girl from Vampire Diaries. And it's a red. And it's this really bright, vibrant red. Fire engine red. It's a really pretty color. I need like a staple red nail polish. And I think this would be it as a brighter version. I need a staple darker red nail polish too. Which I need to find one. Um, but I do really like this red. It's nice and bright. And lastly, um, this is the one I told you I got from Birchbox. That was $8 and I got it for... With basically, I got it for like three dollars and free shipping, um, and it's from their newest um, collection from the holidays. Um, this is in Noel, and it's a really pretty shimmery blue. Um, 
Um, there's a couple from that collection I wanted, but I really wanted this one, so I went and got it. And it actually turned out to be a really pretty color um, on the sample. I hope the color picks up picks it up right, but it's a really pretty shimmery dark blue. Perfect for nighttime, um, anytime, but especially winter. The blue colors really um, go with the winter uh, months and the winter season. Um, and that's everything I got. Um, so I pretty much was happy with all of them. I think the hard candy was the only one that I wasn't impressed with, but for a dollar, it's not bad. Um, but I did, I really liked the, the rest of them. And um, now I gotta find room for them <laughs> in my collection. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe tomorrow or later tonight, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to go back through and just show you all the bottles. I'm not going to go through all the swatches, but just show you all the bottles um, of my nail polish collection and just do an updated nail polish collection because I have gained a lot. Um, I know there's, they're spread out here and there through all my videos, um, but like I said with the licorice and the... Um, brisk blue you wouldn't know that if you're a new subscriber you wouldn't know this was in my collection if you didn't see my past video so I just kind of want to update that um I haven't changed too much as far as makeup because I haven't been able to buy too much I've been buying nail polish more than anything um so um yeah I do want to do the nail polish updated nail polish video I have like a ton I kind of hoard nail polish not just collecting I hoard them pretty much um, and then I should have some jewelry coming from GoFavor. I did China, GoFavor.com is a jewelry company. They have really nice, cheap jewelry. I did two different orders. One was taking a while, but I figured it's coming from China, so it would take a while. And I don't know if I had a complete blonde moment, but I didn't think I did. Um, there was expedited, sh expedited shipping and regular China mail. Regular China mail was like $3, and expediting was like 15 And my order was only like five dollars so I went with the three um, so I don't know if because I went with the three dollars either a it's not gonna come to me because China doesn't ship out here like if shipping from China to here is only three dollars that's amazing but um I'm not sure if expedited shipping means shipping out of the country or not so I just did the basic one because it's cheap and I figured it should be getting here soon so I tried another order just in case my address or something got messed up um, I just tried a different order because um, if I get one in then I'll know it's working um, and then I stopped because each one was about five dollars around there so maybe maybe ten at the most and just some really cute jewelry I got so when I get those in and if I get those in um, I'll show you guys and um, oh I saw this really cool book that I'm going to look up and price how much it is um, and see if I can find a really, really good deal and a cheap copy. And it's a book of eyeshadow looks you can do and it gives you directions how to do it for what reasons. And I'm going to go over that book and try to pick out looks that they did and information that they tell you guys about and do like videos based, based on that book. So everything that I show you won't be my ideas, but I will be showing how to do it and kind of sponsoring but not really sponsoring the book you know I, I'll, I'll buy it myself and be like hey look I'm doing this um so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this um I hope it was informative you know as far as the quality and if, you know if it's good or not and um I can't wait to do my collection video for you and to see you guys more and yeah so I'll talk to you guys later I love you oh and I'm um, sorry I haven't made a video yesterday or uploaded much because it was New Year's, it was Christmas, then New Year's, and then today is the 4th, and it's mine and my boyfriend's anniversary. Um, we've been together for four years today, um, but we celebrated it last night, and then I, because I had school today until 4.30, um, and so we're not going to really do too much celebrating today, we did it all yesterday, and he got me this really cute necklace. Look at that. I think it's adorable with the two hearts and um, I don't know, I just think it's really pretty and it's the first piece of like really pretty jewelry I've gotten from a guy before, like not my dad, but you know like a boyfriend, so it means a lot and I really like it, I think it's really, really, really pretty. So I just wanted to add that in there because I'm excited and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, so this is under four, 15 minutes for you guys. Sorry I've been so scatterbrained and verbally can't talk right today like normal. But anyways, sorry. Ah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.